Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to upload your website on Hostinger with database whether you have a custom coded website with database or a WordPress website with database this video is for you. So let's see how we can do it. So to upload our website to Hostinger at first we need to log into our Hostinger Edge panel after that just click on manage next to your web hosting plan click on file manager click public underscore html if your web hosting is new then this folder will be empty but if you have multiple websites on your web hosting then here you will see multiple folders so on my main domain there is already a website so i'm going to upload this website to the subdomain and i have created a separate folder for the subdomain so here it is so i'm going to open it so now at first we need to upload our website file so from the top we are going to click on upload now select file from here make sure to add all of your website files in a one zip file and then upload that zip file so this is my zip file so i'm going to select it and then click on open and it will start uploading to my hosting as i have already uploaded this file to my hosting so now we are going to extract this so we are going to right click on it and then click on extract from here now we need to create a new folder where we will extract the zip file so add a name for your new folder and then click on extract our zip file is now extracted to the new folder open it and here we will see all the website files that are extracted so now we will move these files to the main folder so we are going to select all the files from here just press ctrl a from your keyboard and all the files will be selected now right click on them and then click on move from here move file now we will move these files to the main folder currently the path of our website files are public underscore html slash wordpress slash new site but we will move them to public underscore html slash wordpress so we are going to double click on this folder icon and as you can see that our path is now changed now we are going to click on move so all the website files are now moved to the main folder. So now we have uploaded and extracted our files. Now we are going to upload our database. So we will go back to Hostinger H panel again. And now from here we will select databases. So at first we will create a new database for our website. We need to add a database name. After that we need to add database username and database password. And then click on create. And in this way our database will be created. So once your database will be created, it will be shown here as I have already created a database for this website. So I will skip it. So here is the database. So next to the database, we will see an option enter PHP my admin. So we are going to click on it and it will take us to the PHP my admin of this database. And now we will import the database of our website. So from the top, we are going to click on import. Now select choose file from here. This is the database of my website that I have downloaded from the old web hosting. Select the database and then click on open. Once our database is selected, scroll down and then click on import. And in this way, our database will be imported. So in this way, our database will be imported. So if it's your WordPress website, then we need to do some further settings. So we will go back to files. And now from here, we will scroll down. And here we will see a file wpconfig.php file. So we are going to select it, right click on it and then click on edit. And here we will see the details for our database. And we need to change these details with the database that we have just created. So we will go back to hosting the H panel. At first we will copy the database name from here. Go to the files and then paste it here. Now we need to copy the database username and paste it here now we need to add a password here that we have used for our database so we will paste our password here once we are done adding these details from the top we are going to click on save so our changes are now saved so now our database is connected with the website files let's visit the website and check whether it's working or not so I have uploaded this website on my subdomain and as you can see that our website is working fine.
So this is how you can upload website on Hostinger with database. Thank you so much for watching the video tutorial. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel.